summer break is finally here and we are slowing down our normal routines and starting a new routine for the summer since everyone is home and our schedules have changed quite a bit. Even though my boys are home from school now, it is important to me to keep some sort of schedule when it comes to tidying and cleaning up my home. What I have to do instead of spending longer periods of time in one area, I have to pick and choose what I need to clean and do it when I get an extra minute. I also want to enjoy the summer and I don't want to feel as if I'm spending the whole summer doing chores and things that aren't very fun. So because of that, my plan is to do more activities outside of our home. So hopefully it will stay cleaner while we're not there. And I will focus on the need to do cleaning areas, which are usually the most high traffic areas in our home. So bathrooms, the kitchen of course is a daily thing that I have to clean and then uh, floors and any kind of spot cleaning that needs to be done. But with a plan like that, I think I can have a more relaxed schedule where my home still stays tidy. As I'm standing here doing the dishes, I'm here looking out the window, noticing that I left the barbecue Weber grill out from the barbecue we had the night before. And that is making me want to get out there and put that away and take a break from the dishes for just a moment. We've also planted what is normally our garden planter box, which we plant food in. We've planted it with flowers this season because we're doing so much work in the backyard that we didn't think we'd have enough time to put food in this box. So we have another three planter boxes with uh, vegetables and fruits and things like that that we're growing and this we've just decided to put plants in. Now I'm just hand washing a vintage cross stitch that I like to use as a runner under one of my lamps and this has had a stain on it for quite a while so I'm happy to get this done. Thanks Care Of for partnering with me for today's video. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. You take a short in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and health goals for a personalized doctor-backed recommendation. The quiz can be retaken at any time to switch up your packs as your lifestyle and needs change. Care Of's daily vitamin packs are made with plant-based compostable film to help limit the impact on the environment without compromising on the quality and safety of their products. For 50% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code SHANNONTORRENS50. I love the vitamin dispenser and packs because it makes it so easy to remember to take my vitamins each morning after I have my breakfast. I'm keeping them here on the shelf where I can see them easily to get into a really good habit of taking them and then I'll put them in the cupboard by my coffee. For 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code SHANNONTORRENS50. Visit the link in the description box below for more information. I especially like the probiotic blend and vitamin C. It's making me feel really healthy and I've been trying to focus on eating healthier food as well. I'm preparing a smoothie here for lunch and just trying to get more fruits and vegetables in and hopefully stay healthy through this summer. Lately, I've been craving a lot more color in my kitchen, so I'm just switching out a vase here and adding some flowers that I cut from our front yard. And while these won't last long, at least it's adding a bright pop of color at this point. 
When I was enjoying my lunch, I looked up and noticed quite a few cobwebs on our fireplace wall. And as you see here, we also have two very narrow, tiny shelves on this wall. And I've always wondered what to do with those. I tend to just put a few items on there because it looks kind of odd, empty, but then the minimalist in me and wanting to see everything clutter free I just don't really like the look of all the little cluttered things on there because the shelves are so narrow, we have to have tiny items on there. So this is the best I could do with some things that I found around our home. But what I wanna do is make two planner boxes that will fit over these shelves and put some plants in there so it will be very simplified and I think I can do that when we have a little bit of extra time probably in a few months. Now my mom and I are planting our orange tree. You may not know this but I've mentioned it a few times we're completely redoing our backyard and we really wanted to have more fruits and vegetables so we decided on an orange tree and a lot of the trees locally here in Southern California have had a disease and it's been really hard to find the orange tree that we want. So my mom, being the superhero that she is, went and found this tree and we decided to plant it right here in this area. And as you can see, Grant's also working on this as well. We're just transforming our backyard and hopefully we will be done soon and I'll be sharing a video on that. I've been thinking a lot lately about how far we've come in the last 10 years and honestly if someone had told me when I was 20 that now at 39 I would be where I am I would be shocked but I would also be extremely happy and the one thing that I would probably change if I could go back is just not to stress so much and worry so much about getting enough done and while I think it's so important to have goals and work really hard I've been feeling lately like it's really important for me to stop and just be so grateful for where we are right now and what we've accomplished and we should just be so happy that we have what we do have and it can be so hard sometimes not to always look to the next thing, whether it be a vacation or the weekend or whatever it is that is kind of fun to look forward to. But I've just been feeling like it's so important for me to just stop and be like, today is the day that I need to be wanting just my everyday life. And I've been just thinking about that a lot more lately. And honestly, I guess probably in 10 years, I will tell myself now <laughs> to not stress about all the little things that I tend to overthink about and worry about, but maybe that's just part of life. As you can see, each day I'm just doing a handful of things in my home to keep it tidy and clean. This is the way I'm going to have to work through the summer because there's always something going on, either projects with the boys, camp, swim, so many different things to keep them occupied and also to help keep my sanity. But to keep my home tidy, I'm just chipping away at it day by day. On this morning, I decided to pull the couch back away from the wall and further into the middle of our living room. We had pushed it against the wall to keep Levi from falling off, but we realized we have to just keep him off altogether because it's too dangerous at this point. So all those things you see in the middle of the living room, the table, the little seat, and the basket of toys are the barriers to keep him off the couch for now, at least until he gets a little more steady and can understand the dangers. Mm -hmm. 
One major benefit of moving this couch away from the wall is now we can get back there to open and shut the curtains more easily and I can now clean back there again which was getting to be a little bit irritating because dust would collect back there and toys and all sorts of stuff so I'm kind of glad that that didn't work out and hopefully he will be steady enough to be just up on the couch soon and it'll be a lot safer soon for him. Surprisingly, I'm still enjoying the load a day and let's be honest, it's about every other day depending on how much we have, but I'm still enjoying it because I feel it's pretty easy being home most of the time to get at least one load done every single day or like I said, when we have a full load, I, that's when I do it. And then I am just hitting these high traffic spots with the vacuum really quickly before we're going to be having to head off to get the boys from swim. In general, I'm just noticing that all the small little things we do, whether it be cleaning our home or improvements in our home or learning something new, working on my blog, all those tiny things that I do each day, even though it may not seem very significant while I'm doing it, is leading to the larger goal and really helping me to accomplish so much over a longer period of time. And I really notice this when I look at the last 10 years and what I have accomplished. And I even see it with my kids with going to school each day. They're only doing a few things each day, but by the end of the year, they know so much more than when they started. And I guess it's just inspiring to me to finally kind of see this right in front of my eyes. And it's encouraging to just keep going and keep chipping away at whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Over on my blog, I'm sharing 13 cleaning habits that have helped me to keep my home nice and tidy. So I will share that in the description box down below and all my other recent blog posts in case you're interested. Now I'm just propagating some Creeping Charlie into the hanging pot in our little walkthrough area here. And if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will leave some videos up here on the screen so you can continue watching. Thank you for being here and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.